Brandform is a programme that was started about 10 years ago to help companies who are interested in um, developing and growing their brands, predominantly in the Irish market. It's made up of uh, five to six networking events throughout the year. We also have workshops, very practical workshops, on the likes of social media or food photography. And also each member company receives two days one-to-one -one mentoring. We have a variety of branded key branded players in the Irish market. We have Ashling Walsh from Butlers. Um, we have John Fanning as our chairman, who's ex McConnell's. Um, we have Colm O'Sullivan from Cully and Sully, um, amongst others. So there's a huge amount of experience on the steering group who work with myself and Board Bia in terms of developing the programme to sure it's delivering for Irish brands. I suppose that the importance of having a brand is to get a premium for your product that maybe an own label product wouldn't receive. You're getting loyalty with a, um, a group of consumers and you're getting the on-shelf recognition. So that it's just so important to have a brand for that reason we would encourage companies as well as doing private label to consider the branded route. You know you're going to actually at some stage have to go to an agency to help you to kind of develop a professional brand and the biggest kind of tip I could give is to develop a brief and take your time on the brief that you give to the agency so explain what the product's about, its unique selling point, who the target audience are. It's great for the um, agency but it's also great for you to clarify in your own head maybe on one to two pages max what your product is about and how it's different from all the others in the field. Yeah, well, the decision actually makes its way back to February 2010 when we took part in Marketplace. And basically for the next number of months after that, we were in negotiation with a company in Holland who were pretty interested in the product and just seemed to be almost ready to list the product when they eventually said, you're a bloody good product, but your branding is pathetic. So it took us back basically to drawing board and we had to make a decision then, I think first to understand what exactly they wanted by branding or maybe for me what was branding because it was really a whole new game for me. So I had, was a member of Brand Forum and through the Brand Forum program I was afforded a mentor who basically guided me through the preparations for branding. So we started with uh, the mentor in June of that year and basically prepared what we wanted to get out of branding, what the messages should be on our brands. After that then we decided that maybe we should do a little bit of research and to see exactly what the customer wanted, which probably was a hell of a lot more important, probably which should have been the first step. So that um, research focus group was undertaken on the Irish, UK and US markets, which are our main markets. So with that basically decision made from the customer's point of view, what exactly they wanted, uh, we put the job out to tender and Dynamo with the company was selected to do the project for us. They started the project and lost me within about two weeks because it was a whole new world to me. It really, they were just moving far too fast for me. Uh, it's another language branding and about two, four weeks into the project I basically put a pause button on it because they were just running ahead of me. That was probably the biggest hiccup I had, just understanding what branding was and how to actually go about branding and what I should have on my brands. So we put a pause button on it for a couple of months, it was back end of the year and then we decided to get back into it again. I guess also for me I didn't realise that branding was a standalone project and I was doing my branding work alongside my everyday work and that wasn't how it should have been done, it should have been taken on as a standalone project and that's what was needed. So we came back in then and uh, we started back in again, made our decisions, there was many, many trips and many, many meetings with Dynam who were actually fantastic to me and uh, it was a huge educational process. And then we went back and we did some, once the brands, they had the brand started, we went back and we did some experiments at shop level just to see how the brand stood out. Um, again, all this was done with the help of the mentor which was provided by Borbia and uh, we launched in April of 2011. So you might say slow work, but I think perhaps I'm responsible for that. You know, it was a, just a project, a bigger project than I realised. If it were me and I was starting a, a food brand, the first thing I need is the idea. And that, that needs to be very single-minded and very clear. Brands that have managed this really successfully um, uh, would be brands like, say, Cully and Sully, where you have an idea, a story, two people to come together. One's a business person, one's a chef. There's a great idea. So start with that. Um, the second thing is know how you're going to talk to your audience. So are you 
going to talk to your audience, and that this is true any channels, whether it be uh, back of pack or whether it be through digital or online or whether it be through press releases or so on, is you know talk in a way that's engaging, that's human, and so your tone of voice is very important. And then to articulate that idea and that tone of voice. The graphic design is obviously key. Graphic design in food and packaging, it's very, very easy to do badly. So there's many packaging designs that would, uh, uh, that would just rely on category cliches, product shot, background color, scripty text, and so on. So it makes, you need to really make sure that the design is well thought out, considered, and makes a difference, and helps you make a difference, and is unique. Um, then four. I would say the production is really important. So when you're considering the types of materials that, that, you're, um, that you want your product to appear in, you need to consider exactly how that feels, how that looks. If you're selling something that's quite artisan, then those materials need to feel like they're sort of handmade. If you're selling something that's like in whiskies and so on that has to sit alongside Jemison 15 year, 18 year bush mills and so on, then you have to, you have to make sure that the materials have every much, has, ve has every bit as much craft involved in those. So the production is really important. Um, don't go cheap just for the sake of um, uh, saving money. The cost for a, comp a small business company, which we class as under two and a half million turnover, is 250 euros plus VAT. So it's an annual program. It runs from January to December. For 250 euros, you can attend, multiple people from your company can attend the five to six events we have, the workshops, and also um, receive the one-to-one -one mentoring. So it is fantastic value, and I would encourage every company to sign up.